In this lesson, we are going to look at subtracting algebraic fractions. This is the first example of three examples. We have 4c over 5 minus 2c over 7. In our previous lesson, when we were adding algebraic fractions, or in fact any other time when we have been adding or subtracting fractions, we have found that in order to proceed, we must have a common denominator. That means we must have the same number on the bottom of both fractions. We have also found that a quick way of obtaining this is just to multiply each fraction by the opposite denominator. So fraction number 1 will be multiplied by 7 and fraction number 2 will be multiplied by 5. So multiplying by 7 on the bottom what we need to do next is multiply by the same amount on the top line. That way our fraction stays equivalent. The second fraction will be multiplied by 5, remembering to multiply by the same amount on the top. So our new denominators, 5 times 7 is 35. and 7 times 5, which is also 35, as expected. On the top, we have 4c times 7, which is 28c, and we have 2c times 5, which is 10c. We now have two fractions with the same denominator, so we can write this down as a single fraction over 35. We have 28c minus 10c on the numerator. The numerator can be simplified. 28c minus 10c is 18c. Our new fraction is 18c over 35. The next thing we normally need to do is check to see if the fraction can be simplified. In this case the fraction can't be simplified so this is our final answer. Example 2 we have m plus 1 over 2 minus m minus 1 over 5. Like the previous question, we found that in order to proceed, we must have a common denominator. The quick way of doing that was just to multiply each fraction by the opposite denominator. So fraction number 1 will be multiplied by 5. Remembering to multiply the numerator by the same amount, and the second one will be multiplied by 2. Remembering to multiply by the same amount on the top line also. So our new denominators, 2 times 5 is 10, minus, and 5 times 2, which is also 10, as expected. On the top line, we have 5 times m plus 1 and 2 times m minus 1. We now have two fractions with a common denominator. So these can be written as a single fraction over 10. So we have 5 m plus 1 minus 2 m minus 1. What we need to do now is to multiply out the brackets in the top line to see if we can simplify. So we'll put our denominator down once more. 
And the first thing we have is 5 times m, which is 5m. 5 times 1 is 5. Then minus 2 times m is minus 2m. And minus 2 times minus 1 is plus 2. On the numerator, the top line, we now have some like terms which can be collected together. We have 5m and minus 2m, which is 3m. And we have plus 5 and plus 2, which is plus 7. So our new fraction is 3m plus 7 over 10. What we need to do now is to see if it can be simplified. Now, at present, there's no way we can simplify it. What we can sometimes do is try to factorise what we have on the numerator, and possibly that might uh, give us something that can be simplified. But in this case, we can't factorise the top line either. So 3m plus 7 over 10 is our final answer.